So unfortunately this happened today. Um, turned on my fat shark and the HDMI port on it I guess it's not working because I do not see anything on my HD0. So HD, the HD0 logo or splash screen should have popped up and you get a black screen, but you don't get that. I mean, I can cycle through the AV modes. This one will be, I don't know, 4x3. This one would be 16x9 and this one would be HDMI. And uh, I have plugged my goggles onto my laptop via HDMI and verified that the board is not working. Um, I read about this online. Apparently, the HDMI boards on these Fat Sharks, anything actually, I think, are pretty bunk and will eventually fail, which it finally did for me. I have contacted Fat Shark and they will be sending me a replacement HDMI board that I will fix on my own because I figured that would be faster than me sending this to them to fix. So now that H this HDO 2s are out of not working for me for uh, getting my HD0 online. I will have to get it to fit on my Orcas Pilot 1s instead, which I'm not looking forward to because this put on here it makes it like that extra longer. But whatever I gotta do to get back in the air, I guess, flying in HD. Alright. I made the HD0 VRX fit on my Orcas. It's not the most extravagant, but it does get the job done. So I've got the micro HDMI, ported one that goes around and into a mini HDMI in the front here. And while it does work, it is a lot nose heavy now that it's so far in front. And it takes up a lot more room in my bag, that's for sure. But it does work. So. While I eventually got the replacement parts for my HDO2s, the um, HDMI inboard, uh, I was kind of disappointed to find out that the version was uh, exactly the same. Uh, so that what, pretty much what that meant is it may fail again in the near future. So I may have to keep an eye on it and hopefully it doesn't break on me or jump on the HD0 goggles that is coming up in a few months. Uh, regardless, the fixing or replacing of the part on the HDO2 is pretty straightforward. I had to take the goggles apart. I mean, I did tons of videos online on how to do it. But plugged it in, put it back together. HD0 through HDMI works again, so I'm pretty happy with that. The uh, turnaround time from putting in the RMA request to, uh, to Fat Shark and receiving the parts took about a week. So... Not too bad. Um, anyways, like I said, I gotta keep an eye on it and hopefully it doesn't happen again.